Hello, Jenna Hayes. It's my pleasure to finally speak to you. We never met in person in my entire life, but I figured that I would give you a classy, uh, you know, a charming introduction. Because I know what kind of woman you are, and it's only fitting if I set the stage. I want you to join me. You know, ladies first, take your seat. Let's enjoy the, the beach together. Take in the ocean breeze. Enjoy the refreshments. I made you a glass of lemonade. And after I get done talking to you, the offer I present to you might be a little too sweet, so we gotta kinda use some water. You know what I mean? I'm not a, a magician. I don't do witchcraft, ma'am. But, uh, the best thing in life sometimes, man, I believe it's, you know, from the Lord. And I, I think that we just take things for granted sometimes. So I, I like to share this with you, Jenna Hayes, you know, cause uh, I want it to feel and taste very clean to you. You're gonna really love it. You know, it's nothing expensive. I'm pretty sure a woman like you, uh, use of uh, drinking very expensive stuff, but I can assure you on this kind of day, something simple as this tastes very good. Yeah, a man of my word. Yeah, I'm worried about that. Very sweet, very sweet. In some ways it kind of reminds me of you because when I look at you, you are eye candy. You're beautiful. And you're very good at what you do. You're a very good actress, Jenna Hayes. Very good. And I will admit, I fell for your trap sometimes. I fell for your little, very uh, clever ways. I fell, I fell into those traps, but luckily I was able to mature and become a better man. Because I'm going to give a, a woman her credit when it's due. If you've done something that's uh, worthy, if it's a masterpiece of yours or something that you're proud of, I'm going to bring it up. And I just want to make sure that we're on the the fair uh, battleground. So I'm gonna, I can talk to you. I can kind of loosen up a little bit. I can talk to you a little differently than other women I'm used to talking to because the kind of woman you are. And trust me when I tell you this, I didn't have plans to ruin your reputation or make you look bad, nothing like that. I have more class than what you think and just let, let you know if this kind of makes you feel more comfortable. I do have French blood in me, so I do know how to talk to women of a class like you in a dignified way. And I don't mean, I don't care about what you've done in your past. I'm gonna talk to you right now in the present. So you can just, uh, Forget about these uh, advertisements and let's just go back to the beach. I'm sorry, this, you see how long these commercials, I remember when YouTube didn't have these advertisements, it used to be just ad free and the state of California generators is uh, very expensive and people don't understand how, how money hungry uh, people are. The times have changed. And you do have a bad, bad mouth of yours. But in some ways I can appreciate it because you take the absolute value of anything negative, it's positive. So I, I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna be a gentleman. Jenna Hayes, don't worry about it. Jenna Hayes, I wanna talk to you about your retirement plan. I wanna talk about your happy ending. Cause I'm pretty sure right now, I don't know exactly what you're wearing or exactly what you're doing. I assume you're in a nice place in the nice part of California. You probably uh, live in a good life and I, I hope you really are. But if you have uh, some part of you that just doesn't, no matter what you do, you don't know what it is. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it's going to last all of eternity. There's something missing. Well, ma'am, I guess uh, I believe that's why I was sent to kind of kind of help you with your uh, spiritual problem. I do believe and I, I, I love to pick a woman like you because I really like to see you, you know, like uh, being at your best in your golden moments. 
You know, I mean, you look very good on camera. I give you that. You know, you look very good on camera, and I try my best to refrain myself from giving in to my temptations. But you, uh, some of the things you do, it's very tempting, very tempting to the, the average man. And it's so hard to just be hard and professional at all times without uh, releasing, not giving in to pleasure. It's a, you're that kind of woman. you just such a tease. Why do you have to tease men like that, Jenna Hayes? Like I said, when I meet a real good actress, I'm going to give you the credit that you deserve. Okay? And so... It, I, you're probably not used to a fan being this real with you, okay? But I can assure you, Jenna Hayes, that uh, I see potential in you. I don't believe you you are at your best. I do believe that there's uh, some stuff you've been hiding. You don't want people to know about about you, ma'am. And uh, I'm not sure if you do drugs or if you drink alcohol. I don't really know what you do in your personal life, but uh, you know, if you're trying to come clean. If you're trying to live life the right way, man, I don't expect this, but just know that everybody is treated the same. Everyone gets paid the same wage according to the eyes of God. And so I do believe that everyone has a fair opportunity, man, to come clean. And I'm not sure about your relationship with God, man. I, I really don't know. But I pray that you, uh, you're you mindful of God. I, I, I really, in your in your profession, I really hope you do. Because I don't want, ma'am, as much as uh, you probably have guilt inside you, I, and I hope you don't, but in case you do, I hope you're, uh, you know, not left behind. I hope you're not going to stay all of eternity in the nice place you call home. If that's what you want, that's fine, ma'am. I just want to make sure that you're fully aware of the consequence of your actions, ma'am. I just want to make sure that you're fully aware of everything. I mean, if you like where you live, ma'am, if you want to stay there for the rest of your life, that's fine, okay? But I do want you to know there is a God. There is a heaven. I'm a man of my word. I give you my word. And um, if you need a little bit more uh, reinsurance, in God we trust, it is imprinted on the back of every American currency. The Pledge of Allegiance to the National Flag has one nation under God in it. And... Uh, if you travel the country like as I have the privilege to, you're going to notice there's uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, crosses in the country. There's so there's too many to count. Too many to count. Okay. And what's kind of uh, interesting is all those places that have those holy crosses. I'm not sure if you've ever been to a, a haunted mansion, if you've ever been to haunted places. But if you've been to a haunted place, you know a bad spirit is there. You, you can just feel it. You just know. Um, I never felt that way with these places that have the crosses above their tombstone graves. What I'm trying to say, man, is I don't think their spirits are there in the grave. I think they all went to heaven. Because if, I mean, if they were on earth, obviously you would feel the bad presence or the bad spirits there. But it's almost like you see the cross, but you don't see the, the body there. It's like, of course, you, you see the what they left behind. Their spirit must be in heaven. I mean, obviously, you can't feel it there. You don't feel nothing while you go over there. But if they were bad spirits, you you can feel that. That means that the, the bad spirits, they don't they refuse to leave. They just stay there. That's why they become haunted, because they refuse to leave. So, I just want to make sure, man, like I said, see, I accept your challenge. I accept your challenge because I expect you to be uh, ruthless. I expect you to just... You know, close your ears and your heart and uh, put up your shield because you don't want to feel guilty for what you've done. And that, Jenna Hayes, like I said, I'm just talking to like uh, one person to another. I don't mean to offend you. See, I like a woman like you because I know you're not you're not that weak. You're, you're not that uh, oversensitive as you pretend to be. We could come to a, a, a mutual agreement, a mutual understanding with one another. That's the way I'm talking to you because I look at you like on my level. So I'm treating you that way. So I, I know a woman like you can understand what I'm saying. That's why I can't talk this way with other women because I do understand that there's a level of a degree of, of a quality woman. And I, I do understand that you cannot expect to treat all women that same way because some women, they're, 
they let their emotions get the best of them and they just don't want to listen to the truth they don't they just shut themselves out and that's why they keep making the bad decision that they're making they keep repeat repeating the same mistakes because they don't want to listen to the one good man that's telling them the truth i get it jenna hayes but see you can understand that these other women can't so that's why you know i don't li like to make fun of them uh, as we get older good men they tend to be more classier and they they tend to to grow up and be better men that's all i'm saying jenna hayes and a woman like you can understand that so i apologize beforehand if i uh deny your uh your problems in bed at night if you have insomnia if you can't sleep at night ma'am i apologize beforehand i can't help you with those uh personal problems of yours i'm just here to uh offer you some satisfaction of your soul ma'am in case you haven't found any satisfaction in your personal life i'm trying to offer it to you ma'am and it's almost as simple as a uh, drinking the right water depending on who gives it the water is uh, how tasteful it's going to be ma'am okay so jenna hayes uh before you i chose to pick on rebecca poor rebecca and uh i hope she's not crying okay and uh, a woman like you, you know, you, you, you could uh, be a little playful. We can play a little game, so that's fine. We can be playful. And I'll admit to you, I'm me personally, I am a sore loser. I do hate losing. And I sometimes just, I had a bad habit of letting my feelings get the best of me. To give you an example, I had an ex-girlfriend of mine that I, I, I really loved inside my heart. I didn't, I didn't know any better. I, I truly loved the woman. And... Um, I wasn't thinking straight, okay, so I kind of deleted her forever out of my life. I deleted her phone number. I made sure no matter what, no matter if I changed my mind, I could never be able to uh, contact her again because I felt like my heart was broken. I was a little, like, up hurt, like you know, upset that she was with another man and then she treated me like I was just, like, common trash, like some kind of peasant. Like, I was so desperate, so lonely and everything, and... I realized, man, that's why I respect an actress like you, because as I got older, I, I started to understand that you can't just judge a, uh, a woman by her beauty, because the, uh, her nature doesn't always reflect her beauty. You have to find out an, uh, a woman's nature by talking to her. So that's why it's very important for a real man to go talk to a real woman, because a, a simple man doesn't understand that uh, they're intoxicated by beauty. They don't understand that doesn't always reflect how a, a woman is, is inside. And I don't mean to make a woman like you look bad, but you know, to give an example what I'm talking about, you know, Jody Aries, the one that I mean, she looked beautiful, but no one knew she was really a killer. I mean, I'm not trying to, I forgot the name of the, the, the man that she killed. I, I don't, I wasn't personally there. I don't know exactly what happened, but that man didn't deserve to die like that. And um, it's just pretty much, you get what I'm saying, Jenna Hayes. It's just one of those things that it's just sad, you know, it's just sad. Some women are black widow spiders. They look at men like food and just they have no guilt of eating a man alive. You know what I mean? They have no guilt. But I'm not saying you're that kind of woman, Jenna Hayes. I'm just saying that my eyes are uh, open and I'm not like your average fan, you know. I'm not... I'm not too, st I'm not stupid, but at the same time, I'm not too smart for my own good, you know what I mean? So that's why you, I, I hope I kind of release your guard down a little bit and you can trust me. Cause like I said, I understand you got to have more trust in me, Jenna Hayes. You know, I'm, I, I don't think you're used to this kind of thing, but I'm just, you know, I'm having fun doing this. So just trust in me. Okay. I chose you for a good reason. So don't worry about it. We're having a good day at the beach. And uh, I believe that uh, that looks like bottles of alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, but if you want to go help yourself or pour yourself a glass of alcohol before we can continue our conversation, you can go ahead, make yourself a glass of alcohol if you want. And um, I just want to kind of loosen you up, Jenny Hayes. I want to kind of loosen you up a little bit, you know, so we can be honest with both both of us. Can be honest with one another, and um, we can have fun doing it. You know, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I don't want you to, you know, get a sunburn because uh, it's getting too hot outside. And uh, you can keep your clothes on. Okay, we're, we're trying to be professional here, you know. You can keep your clothes on and let's just enjoy the breeze. Enjoy the air. It's nice and cool and breeze and everything. And you're, you're more than welcome, too, if you, uh, 
need a company, you can always call your girlfriends and we can have a, you know what I mean, a, a nice, good time with one another, you know what I mean? In a good way, you know what I mean? Like, with their clothes on, okay? We don't need to go uh, do, do all the other extra stuff. I don't know how it's looking with your friends on the next month's rent. I don't know what the, the money is coming short. But uh, I hope a woman like you has uh, plans, uh, you know, good plans to come up with the, the money that, that that's needed. You know, I really hope so. Cause I, we both can agree in the state of California, the cost of living is very, very, very expensive. And you can't expect everyone to be like Eugenia is. I'm sorry. I, me, I know. I understand this. See, that's why I can look you straight in the eyes. I understand that you have to do what you have to do to survive. I understand that. You make it look good. You make it look more... Uh, classy and dignified than other women you know there's other women I mean their employer doesn't do things professional it kind of looks bad and trust me I get it I would never make a big thing about it except that uh, they're trying to force this on younger girls I hope that we both can agree in your profession it's it's pretty bad for young girls to be doing what you're doing okay I understand the fan base part of it, but with the young girls, there has to be a limit. And I, I hope we can both agree, Jenna Hayes, that, yeah, the young girls shouldn't be doing what you're doing, you know. And I'm not saying they do it exactly like you. They do it like with the uh, the online, with the e-streaming, and they do it like OnlyFans, kind of stuff like that. You know, you're you're, you're a grown woman. You you do your own thing. I'm just saying that the uh, those girls, there, there got to be limits, you know, with the age. And that goes for the men, too, now. Even for the men that, the, the, when it comes to sexuality, and I'm talking to as a, as a grown adult, we shouldn't even allow our little boys to be doing, you know, you know, there's limits on it. That's what I'm saying, Jenna Hayes. So, I can talk to you the way I am right now, because you understand, like, you know, over the age of 18, it's okay to be able to enter your line of work and uh, to be able to enjoy your work. You have to have, be, be at a certain age. It's legal. Everything's done the right way. You get what I'm saying, Jenna Hayes. But these uh, people that's trying to do what you do, they do it very sloppy and it's it doesn't look good and it's just causing problems for everybody. These uh, underage girls is making women like you look bad. And it's just, you know, there has to be, we we have to do things the right way. And that we and that's both parties agrees on that, ma'am. It's not just you. All of us agree on that, you know what I mean? That that's not right and we have to be responsible adults. We can't let kids be doing that kind of stuff. I hope that even a woman like you can agree to that. Like I said, Jenna Hayes, I don't discredit you from your work, of what you do on camera. I don't take nothing away from you, ma'am. If anything, I'm kinda, I like, you know, the good things that you do and I would hope that I could use that or we both can use that to our benefit for what we have to do when I'm about to present to you after 18 minutes into this video. Okay, so, Jenna Hayes, I'm not sure if you've been spying on me. I'm not sure if you're a stalker. I gotta make sure I uh, look through my windows at night because I, I don't live in a nice place like you. I live in a kind of, you know, dangerous area, but in this dangerous area, I'm I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fairly protected. I have a security guard and I have a, People here that uh, take pride in keeping their neighborhood safe, and it's not always lawful, but it keeps the bad guys away. And, and I'm not saying that I'm a, I'm a really tough guy. I'm not saying that I'm like uh, like as tough as these guys here, but uh, you know they trust me and they fairly like me. I'm not I'm not their best friend, but they uh, you know they like me as a neighbor. They know like, who I am, and I'm comfortable here, and I I feel okay, but. As much as I like what they do for me, I don't want to be here for the rest of my life. If I had free will to be able to choose my retirement plan, I would hope that I go to heaven one day, man. I don't want to be here for the rest of my life. I, you know, like I try to take, I, I try to enjoy life. I try to, you know, see how the birds are flying just right by, you know. I, I try to enjoy life as much as I can. And I try to enjoy a beautiful woman like you. I, I love your company, you know what I mean? And I, I mean, like I said, like I try to keep my eyes on the prize in the haze. I, I love how you try to distract me. I love it. I, I told you, I accept your challenge. You can try to turn me on. You can try to talk to me in that special way you do to other poor victims or uh, customers or just, you know, other people. But Jenna Hayes, that's why I like. 
But you, you, on the battlefield, you know you're more dangerous than what you think on the battlefield. Do you realize uh, how many of those uh, admiring fans of yours that's in the jails and prisons of our country that would don't do anything for their freedom and don't do anything to impress you? Do you realize that, Jenna Hayes? Maybe you uh, not used to this fan base. You don't get the chance of uh, meeting those kind of people because you're in very high places. But I can assure you, ma'am, if you think I like I'm uh, I can't even very amazing. I can assure you, there's other men out there that's more uh, I can't even more amazing than me. I am just kind of a the, I'm just a common man, Jenna Hayes. I'm nobody special. I am just the you know, I'm just doing my job, Jenna Hayes. You know, I'm nothing special. And I believe a minimum wage in the state of California is sixteen oh five an hour. And um, it's not like uh, YouTube is officially my employer. It's not like they pay me by the hour to do all this stuff, man. If you're going to judge me like that, I'm only 21 minutes in the video. And I still got a long way to go just for one hour just to make $16.05 from you, Jenna Hayes. You know what I mean? I hope I kind of made you laugh a little bit because you probably uh, have a $20 bill, but you refuse to let it go. I was like, no, I'm not letting go of this money. This is for next month's rent. I need my money. My, that's, not, that's not funny. I need my money. Jenna Hayes, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of man, I mean, I, I try, you know, like I try to find a way to make you laugh, but if a dollar can help pay for your next month's rent, I would give it to you. <laughs> You're gonna be like, that's so weird that a YouTuber would. I, I can't claim to be a professional YouTuber, ma'am, no. I have um, I have a mission and I'm just using their platform just to help, uh, you know, my cause, that's it, ma'am. Now, me personally, I. I wrote to people like you know I write letters and with all due respect if I had your mailing address I would have personally wrote to your mailing address so instead of watching this video you would have just received a letter from me but maybe you might have you're more entertained watching a video than me writing a letter you know so like I and we live in different times I realize I'm, I'm kind of old-fashioned so I have to embrace this new uh, technology and just be thankful. And as you can see, for someone that I don't even have experience with, the, I think I'm doing an okay job. I'm not claiming to be a professional like you, Jenna Hayes, because on camera you do you do look good. I give you that. On camera you look you look amazing and you do your job well. That's why I'm reaching out to you because I need someone like you on my side when we're on the battleground. Because uh, in our country, Jenna Hayes, you probably don't care, and I and I dare you to not care. The people that need the most support and the most like help is our U.S. veterans that's homeless on the street and the poor American citizens that's too high on drugs and too drunk on alcohol. They need hope, Jenna Hayes. And I know a woman like you can give them hope. I don't care in which way you do it, man. All due respect, you do what you have to do. But I know that you're very talented, that those people on the bottom, man, they'll look up to women like you and they'll motivate them. Like, I'm not here to judge you for what you've done in your past, Jenna Hayes. You know, we're just trying to do our job. But those people on the bottom, man, they need, you don't understand. A lot of them lost hope in our country. A lot of them gave up. They just don't got no one to help them, man. They got n nothing. I have, I have hope. I have hope and I have proof. And I, and I hope that you doubt me. I really do. I can enjoy this conversation with you because you can see that I'm like, in some ways, I'm similar to you. In some ways, I'm man enough to confess my sins. I'm man enough to repent for them. I'm man enough to make things right by God. And, and you know what? As I got to my age, I realized that I don't need to impress everybody. See, I, I, I commend you because, you know, you do your job. You do it well. I don't always do things uh, very professionally. Sometimes I kind of make a little uh, faux pas or a little, you know what I mean? Like cute accidents, if you can say. But I do the best I can to, you know what I mean? To be, you know what I mean? On camera, how you do it. Bear with me, it's on files. So, as you can see, I'm sorry if it's a little blurry, I'm trying to hold it still and pause so you can see it on camera. As you can see, that's a safety deposit box and that's my father's treasure. I'm claiming to be the rightful heir of my father's treasure and I'm using that as a down payment 
to pass the bill I present to the House of Congress in our country. And I believe that the right people will honor it because I'm going to pretty much put down 90% of my fair share and my father's treasure toward the to end the national crisis in our country for all the homeless, for all the, you know, the U.S. veterans and also because this kind of change in the last minute kind of thing, the migrants. I'm not sure how you feel about migrants, Jenna Hayes, but I can assure you that there is a diplomatic solution to make everybody happy and that everybody wins and we can uh, play by the book and our own people could be thankful. If you can just trust me and give me the opportunity to prove myself, Jenna Hayes, I'm pretty sure even a woman like you would have to agree, especially coming from a high place where you're living, man. You, you would even have to agree like, no, that man is right. He is right about this. We all do want to uh, get rid of the homeless off the street. It doesn't make no sense that they're holding signs on the street for help and nobody's not getting them anything. They, they still have the same problem. Even if you gave them all minimum, minimum wage jobs, they're still going to be homeless. They're still going to be in the same situation. And like I said before, I dare you not to care. Because that, that, why do you think I have to go to a woman like you? Because I get it. I get what it takes to be able to make that kind of money. I, I, I totally get it. Okay? But you better not have a heart, Jenna Hayes. You better not have a heart. If I find out, I catch you crying in the bathroom. If I catch you crying in the future, you're going to have to answer for that. I'm just saying. Not to me. To somebody that's uh, way more important than me. I'm just the uh, I'm just the middle man, you know. I'm I'm nobody special. I'm trying to earn my place in heaven, and I did put in an application for the the special elite, you know. But I'm nobody special now. No. What you see, what what you get, you know. What I mean, while we're still here, we're, we can have a little bit of fun. Like I said, my lady, let's enjoy our time at the beach together. You know, I think things are getting a little better, right? Are you feeling a little better about yourself? I, I hope so. I hope in whatever you had planned for the day or whatever. It gets better, you know. I mean, you better not think about me in your day now. You better not think about because I want to ruin your your career, your reputation. You're probably very focused on your next movie or your next whatever you have to do, and I don't want to ruin it. I don't want you to actually make a mistake and then you ruin everything. You got to do it all over again, and now you keep thinking about me, you keep messing up. I don't mean to do that, Jen Hayes. I don't mean to do that to you, man. Okay, I just I'm trying to help you come clean in time. Before it's too late, ma'am, and even a woman like you deserve a, deserves a chance, ma'am. That's all I'm saying. You know, so I dare you. I dare you to just be honest with yourself. I dare you. Like I said, I get it, Jemais. I get it. I, I, I truly do. I'm not a hater, as you can see. I came out to you very uh, in a professional way. You know what I mean? Like we can both be on the same page. You can trust your own country. You can trust your own people, Jemais. Trust me. You, you think a lot of us on, you know, that's a uh, in the places we're at, you think that we, you know, we're, we're all the same way. We're not, Jenna Hayes, in case you didn't know. We fight with each other. You know, like, uh, I live in a, a very uh, special, dangerous place, and um, I get actually get treated very good where I'm at. It's hard to believe, but as you can see, I'm a little, I am a little smarter in some ways, and I do have a wider view of things, so I'm able to pre calculate my moves before they happen. I'm able to see you know things the other people because you know when you're too high on drugs when you're too drunk on alcohol your vision gets blurry you're not really in reality you're in some kind of phase jenna hayes like phase <laughs> like some kind of cheap and these and some of these simple men they just don't know any better you know they uh it's just so sad most of them is never going to be able to get a wife a, a lot of them is just you know a lot of those good men can't even get a girlfriend. It's sad. So they have to live in a fancy land. They have to kind of either find an e-girl online or now they're making AI technology with these porn robots. And it's just so sad. It's putting women like you out of business. No offense to you. But uh, they say it's cheaper and better and cleaner. And, you know, I mean, no... Uh, sexual, you know, diseases, you know, you get what I'm saying. They're trying to replace, and you're not the only one bothered by it. It's it's uh, truck drivers, farmers, it's a lot of people that's get, be, getting replaced by uh, AI technology. The Inside Walmart, if you go into self-checkout, ma'am, it's, oh, it, it's got awful. It's self-checkout, they have the voluntary tipping, and it makes the lines three times worse than what they used to be. When you used to employ a cashier, you know, at the machines, the lines used to be quick. Especially if you put someone like me, the job's... 
and you used to get like employer of the month you used to have like a nice picture on camera like they, people used to take pride of that they, people used to always want to try to battle to get employer of the month now it's just all like AI technology and if you're in a hurry you might make this mistake you might accidentally donate your money to the you know the, the, the tipping machines and guess what that little last five or ten dollars you just had now it's donated to, to charity and, and you can't it's not like you can get your money back like damn you just don't got the time you're in a hurry you gotta go and then you got so many people behind you and you know how it is when you're waiting those kind of lines it's not pretty especially when you have migrants back there the lines now go all almost all the way to the back of the walmart i, I jenna hayes i'm not lying to you i'm not sure where, where you shop ma'am but, uh, you know, I like to believe that we have, like, uh, even for the citizens like me, we have, like, a meeting ground that even we all, every American goes to, you know, me and I would hope that it'd be Walmart or somewhere or Target or something. But anyways, uh, Walmart, oh, my God, the lines are awful. It, 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 it's so bad, ma'am. Like, I, I didn't mean to do this. I wasn't really thinking properly, but I had a shopping basket, and, you know, I, I kind of act entitled. I kind of act like I belong in our country. So I was kind of mad about, cause I'm not used to waiting that long. So I just kind of threw an attitude problem. There was a line and I was kind of almost to the front. You know, I was still like in a big line, but I, I looked, I was looking for a Walmart employee. And I just, I, I gave him the basket. I was like, oh dude, you know what, sir? No offense, but I'm not waiting this line anymore. This is just, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to wait this line. I'm going to come back when there's not so many people here, sir. So I just gave him the basket and I, I left. I went to a, a Mexican, you know, a traditional Mexican, I think it was a, a Superior, Superior Groceries. I went to a Mexican grocery store and it was just so much quicker. There's actually people at the, uh, you know, at the cashier that was actually doing everything by hand by people. And it was just, I, I swear to you, Jenna Hayes, it was so much quicker. So what I'm trying to tell you is that it, like replacing us with robots is not always better. I, I, I kind of like like how me and you are talking like we're like on camera it's not like i'm physically by you in person i don't have covid19 i don't have germs i promise you that jenna hayes we're just talking like this i'm glad i had the opportunity to do that because before we couldn't really do that we would have to just like write letters and as you can see it's not like uh i jenna hayes look i'm a i'm a man of honor i i understand if uh an actress like you don't want to be bothered by people. I get it. You probably have a lot of stalkers, a lot of disrespectful men, a lot of perverts or predators. I, I get it. But I do believe that your exceptional fans or uh, the good people deserves at least one letter in their lifetime, at least like one way to communicate. Because I, because you know, I never meet personally. I never been to a, you know, those convention centers that you, you know, you, the actress go to and all those other places. I meet personally. I, I, I've been to the novelty stores and all that, but I've never been to a, like an expo center and all that. And for me, I'll be honest with you, I don't really care that much about an autograph. But if you personally, if you want to give me something that you feel that I should keep in uh, honor and treasure, I will accept it, Jenna Hayes. But I'm just saying, I'm, I'm the kind of man that I don't want to bother people like you unless uh, you, you feel comfortable. Unless you willing to receive my invitation, then you will accept me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I showed you this video just to see it so you see how I am. So, you, you know, you, you, you know who you're dealing with. That's it, Jenna Hayes. Now I gotta calm down because I think that uh, bitter lemonade is getting the best of me. Uh, it's getting a little bitter, so if you don't mind, Jenna Hayes, if you don't mind, I want you to take this piece of bread. I'm gonna take my piece. And I'm gonna remember, I guess that's supposed to resemble, I'm not sure, your religious beliefs supposed to be the the body of jesus christ and we gotta you know always uh keep it in mind you know it, it helped get rid of the bitterness out of my mouth with the lemonade we have to be mindful of the lord jenna hears him we should be thankful that he helped us find a way to get to heaven because we knew how his father's like be ever read the old testament jenna hears it's the father does not play around. He does not like sin. And the people that have wronged the Lord, it doesn't end pretty well with them, Jenna Hayes. And that's why I fear God. I fear God because uh, being the man that I am and uh, reading the Bible the way I do, I do understand something very valuable in life. I do understand that uh, you always got to be respect respectful to your elders. You got to be held accountable for your actions. You got to be mindful of the, your audience and your guests and the people around you. 
when you allow yourself to uh, be too arrogant, you know, the your bad habits get the best of you, it can cost your life. It can r r really ruin you. It, all it takes in life is just one mistake, one mistake that can either cost your life or ruin your entire career. So that's why I respect you, Jenna Hayes, because I understand to be able to get be on that level, you have to be, you know, be very serious in what you do, and you do a good job at it. I, I want to give you that. You do a very good job at it. I give you that, and I don't ever, I don't ever, ever, ever want you to f have any guilt in your uh, throwing stuff in my window. You're trying to get you wake me up, and uh, you know, you're really trying to play games with me, and I'm just gonna kindly deny your offer. I'm like, no, Jenna Hayes, you can come back uh, during business hours when we're opening in the morning, because I believe the house of the Lord is in the morning. You know, at night, we're supposed to be asleep at night for the right reasons, Jenna Hayes. And, um, you know, we can keep our clothes on, Jenna Hayes. It's okay. It's like, you know, it doesn't hurt to be uh, doing things the right way. You know what I mean? I hope you can understand that. I hope I put a little laugh on you because you're going to be like, man, this guy's too much. <laughs> this guy's like, <laughs> you know, like, I, I want to believe that I have my own signature. I want to believe that I have my own. So, but I can't take credit because I'm just doing my job, Jenna Hayes. I get paid the same, like just like everybody else that wants to go to heaven, we all get paid the same. I guess the only difference, if we want to look at it that way, there's very few of us that go through the narrow gate and the uh, other people, they're just trying to go through the front entrance. You know, I mean, like when, when it finally opens, everyone's all screaming and trying to get in. And you got people like me and just um, going through that narrow gate, you know? I don't expect you to follow me, Janet Hayes, but I'm just saying, um, I like to be full of surprises. I like to be surprised. You guys, that's one thing I like about life, Janet Hayes, is that sometimes, you know, like we take let life for granted and we don't realize that everybody else around us, ma'am, uh, they start to slow di di disappear or things start to change and we don't really notice it because we're so self-centered on ourselves. That, you know, we just focus on living our lives and everything to being happy, but we don't notice the things around us. And there's a lot of people uh, like disappearing, leaving them. So I just want you to have a happy ending. I want you to just, you know, man, man, make things right by God. That's all I'm saying. And if you want to make things right by God, you can trust me when I tell you this, Jen Hayes. Let's help out those people, man. You, you're going to play a very important part if you set my invitation. Help me reach out to the right people so that the right people can accept my father's treasure and honor it. And we can pass a bill to build two national monuments, one for the migrants, one for our U.S. veterans and our American citizens. And the more people we can get off the street, the good ones now, because there's going to be a filtering system. The national monument is uh, we're going to accept the good and kick out the bad. It's going to be absolutely no drugs, no alcohol. So when you come in, it's going to sober people up and the good ones that's going to be protected member of society it gives them the opportunity to prove themselves and um you know of course a job training you're going to have computers there why government wi-fi you get what i'm saying there's going to be a it's not just a homeless shelter it's it's going to be like a the seventh heaven like it's going to be like the you know next best thing to heaven i guess you know while you're here on earth waiting to get to heaven but for the, the u.s veterans and for the lower class citizens ma'am it's going to make so many people happy you have no idea and um, I want you to look good on TV. I want you to, uh, and if you have any friends that want to be involved, they're more than welcome to join us. I'm not discriminating. I don't care what race they are, Asian, black, white, I don't care. But me personally, me, if you want to get to know me a little better, I like women like you. Just me personally, okay? I'm just saying. So at least you know, Jenna Hayes, like, you know, you're not just, you're not just trash to me, Jenna Hayes. If, if there was a way that we can just have a business relationship. I would like to, you know, I would like to know you a little better because I only, I can only talk what I've seen on camera. I don't really know you as a person. So I'm going to not judge you until I get a chance to actually talk to a person. So I have a better assessment and I dare you to be an actress. I mean, I dare you because you you know, you can kind of see the kind of man I am. I've learned as I got older, I, I learned to be more uh, playful because I used to be very serious. I used to be very, uh, too oversensitive and too over dramatic, and I learned to calm down a bit. I, I learned to let women like you talk. It's not just all about me. 
let women like you talk so I get a chance to get to know you better, so I can know your true nature. Like I said, Jenna Hayes, you better uh, hide your heart, you know, just, you better, you better get some iron, some, something very tough and, you know what I mean, because I better not find out you're not being professional. I expect you to be on your best behavior at all times. Uh, you're going to re represent the American people, our American flag, there's going to be a lot of inmates that's going to look up to you, that's going to be willing to do anything for their freedom, and, and if they find out, if I tell them, and I have a big mouth sometimes, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, they find out that you helped them get their freedom, that you're you're part of a building Nashi Monument, part of fixing the problem, ma'am. I don't mean to give you too much fans or too much uh, customers, but you can keep those uh, keep those stuff to yourself because I'm just gonna look at you. I'm gonna smile at you, Jenna Hayes, and uh, I'm gonna and I'm gonna try try to be pre-calculated in case you try to come thank me or whatever. I'm going to try to do the best I can not to be around <laughs> you. are going to be, you're going to get mad. <laughs> but that's, the, that's why I chose you, Jenna Hayes, because you can understand why I am the way I am. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not like a complete douche that you're used to. No, I'm not proving that I'm better than you, Jenna Hayes. I'm not going there with you. No, I'm just trying to show you that uh, when you do the right things for people, especially for God, you will be blessed for it. I'm a man of my word. You will be blessed for it. It may not be in a nicer matching because you know, I assume where you live at is like to you. You probably do like it. You probably do, but I don't think you want to be there for the rest of your life. I think even for a woman like you, you will admit. I don't. I have a, a a strange feeling. He's telling the truth, and it's starting to bother me. You know, what I mean, and I don't mean to ruin your day. I really don't. I just want you to be fully aware of the consequence of your actions, ma'am. And that uh, don't forget about the Lord, please. That's all I'm saying, ma'am. I I understand that you have to pay for next month's rent. Things are not easy, the cost of living, it just keeps going up. I understand, Jenny Hayes, I, I truly do, but I also want you to understand this now. Not everybody on the bottom has a talent like you. They all don't, they can't be like you, Jenna Hayes. And I understand that you have your own life. You can't feel sorry for other people because otherwise you'll be like them. You'll be living in their situation. I, I, Jenna Hayes, I get it, I get it. But I'm, I, pre I presented to you a professional way of doing it. Okay, I'm not expecting you to, uh, give up your money or anything like that. Cause I know you know people, you just reach out to the right people. And just your presence alone on TV was enough for these inmates to be motivated to, to be free. They're, when they know that you're part of that, you know, their freedom, they're gonna, they're gonna thank you so much. You're gonna be very like, if you think you look good now, you look even better. You know what I mean? And you're gonna be like, you'd be impressed. You're like, oh my God, he wasn't lying. Like you see a lot of inmates, who knows? You might get turned on. You know what I mean? You might get turned on, you're gonna be a lot of, Manly muscles, you're gonna see a lot of people. And and with your permission, if you think that there's a few that's exceptional, I have a few of them come personally, come meet you in person so they can thank you. And if you wanna give them their autograph, that's fine. That's fine. But I wanna show you, cause you you only seen the, the one part of the business. You haven't seen what happens when you give the right people an opportunity to prove themselves generates. That's all I'm saying. If you make it happen for them, you would be very impressed. And you would be like, if you think, you know what I mean? Like, your name is the way it is now. Your reputation would skyrocket even more than what it is now. And um, I don't know what the woman like you, I don't know what else you would possibly want in life because I assume you probably have almost everything you want. I assume that. But then again, I don't know you personally, so I, I, I don't know. I hope everything was uh, refreshing. I hope that you will consider my offer. And do know that your voice does matter. And I don't care what anyone says Jenna Hayes but we do need you Jenna Hayes and I hope that I have you on our side in the battle coming it's uh we really need you Jenna Hayes so please uh, keep us in mind okay I really hope you have the rest of your day and uh ma'am you can look me in my eyes God bless you Jenna Hayes